tails are really um, sharp, so he just sliced my finger open. Come on, this awesome. All right, good morning, Darcy's Nation. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm super happy to be back out, out fishing, and we are inshore today, inshore salt water. And we are, we got a bunch of lines out, trying a couple different things today. We're also targeting sharks. We got big shark baits out, and this line just went off. Taking some nice drag. Don't know what it is yet, but we're gonna land this fish. As you can see, we are on our new flat boat. We, we love this thing. This thing is awesome. But Brian's having trouble today <laughs> and losing his balance a little bit. This is a solid jack. I can't believe he ate that shark bait. He was super hungry. We got a very thick leader on. I believe it's 200 pound leader. So I'm just gonna flip him in. Woo! Monster fish, awesome. That is an awesome way to start the day. Great morning so far. Let me pick up this giant. All right, beautiful fish, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get this hook out with a hook remover that we have, and we'll show you a trick. And we'll also go through tackle time and the exact rig we're using to catch these fish today later on in the video. All right, look at that baby. Awesome fish. Are you ready? You see him kicking? Yeah. Woohoo! using circle hooks as soon as the fish hits it let him run and let him set that hook on himself by himself by pulling drag and so now I just tighten the drag and I think this is another nice fish I don't think this is a shark sharks fight a little different crazy we're catching all these big fish on shark bait we got some hungry jacks in the area this morning guys definitely smaller than that first one but still a very solid jack creval he's talking to you guys <laughs> he wants to be let go. But solid fish, and I just can't believe they're eating these big shark baits with these big giant circle hooks and these big leaders. It's crazy. But awesome. We're catching fish. <laughs> that was awesome. I was holding this rod. We're trolling. We're moving spots right now. Trolling a couple lines. And we're in a slow zone, like, you know, as far as, uh, as, far as driving on the intercoastal goes. And I was holding this down, this big bait. It just got smashed by a big fish. Using my Maxell Hybrid 20, which is a pretty sweet little reel, and it has a lot of drag. We got another solid jack, awesome. He's mad, he's very mad. Uh -huh. Awesome, check it out. Woo. what I get for grabbing them. Their tails are really um, sharp, so he just sliced my finger open. But I also didn't want to get hit by that big rapala with those big heavy duty uh, treble hooks on here. But yep, that's the redhead color. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description below. We love these deeper divers to get deeper in that water column to catch fish. Another solid jack. Guys, These I talk about these guys a lot, but we catch these on a regular basis here in South Florida. They get like 30, 40 pounds. They get monstrous. This guy's probably close to a solid 10 pounds, 8, 10 pounds. A lot of people like to eat jack crevals, but for us, we just, we don't eat them. There he goes. <laughs> that was awesome. We don't like to eat them, but I know a lot of you guys love to eat them. Um, and for us, we just rather release them. And the smaller ones I keep actually for our stone crab trap. So, you know, it is what it is, but let's get some more fish. What are you doing? I cut my fish open with my bow blade knife. <laughs> for bait. She's savage. Savage got the fat. What's he picking on them baby crabs? Hooked up, hooked up on actually my bass rod, my bass setup we brought today. And I am using a little jig head. We're trying different spots today. We are just exploring more. There's a really great seawall here and a lot of current moving. And so we're just pitching underneath these docks here. And I am attaching a piece of shrimp to that. So that way I can uh, just dig it, you know, around the structure. And I just got hit by this nice jack. Still can't seem to get away from the jack cabals today, but hey, we're catching fish. Calm down, calm down, dude. 
Okay, so you can see jig right in the corner of the mouth there. And we are just using jigs that are appropriate for the current that is going to get down. So this jig in particular is a one fourth ounce jig and mustad jig and just working it along the seawall and anybody can do this. This is very simple and depending on how much current you have, you know, you got to either downgrade or upgrade on your weight on your jig. But that's a sweet jack. Awesome. All right, I'm hooking up on some more fish over here. We're just moving locations, different spots, pitching where there's current, pitching where there's structure and walls like this. Um, so basically, using the jig, it's really a, a lot of fun with the family and the kids. And as you can see, I've got a small little baby mangrove snapper on here. I'm not even gonna touch him. I'm just gonna use my de-hooker right here. And all you gotta do is just take your de-hooker and put it in between the hook and just like that. And then you're just gonna flip. And he's off. And you don't even have to touch them because they have really sharp teeth and really sharp spines. So that's an easy way to remove them. And I'll link it down in the description below. I have an Amazon store now with all my favorite products that I love to use for fishing. Tackle time. As we said earlier, I'm going to go through all the combos, the rigs, and the terminal tackle we use today in order to catch these fish. And also, before I get into that, I want to remind you guys about my 2018 Dark Sizzle calendars, fish hook, and anchor bracelets that I custom tied by myself. Adult and children's sizes available. Check it out. Link down below. Of course, the custom stone crab necklaces and the Dark, Dark Sizzle apparel. I just loaded up on my all brand new apparel for myself. Pretty stoked bunch of different col colors with the logo but let's get into this the first combo I'm going to talk about is when I was using my jig and I was flipping it by the structure under the, under the docks and pilings so starting with the combo the reel is a 2500 Daiwa BG which is perfect for bass and also for light tackle and just having fun inshore you'll catch a whole bunch of fish on this rig and this is spooled up with 10 pound mono on the main line and then attached to it paired with it is the reel and this is a tsunami 7 foot 2 airwave coastal series rod really love this rod it really gives you a great fight bends over it's it's awesome but I also like to use after I have tied onto my main line a 10 pound I have fluorocarbon leader and we like to use tsunami fluorocarbon depending on the fish you're targeting and the water clarity you want to use between 20 up to 40 pound fluorocarbon today I was using 20 pound fluorocarbon and I attached it with a loop knot to my mustad jig head the jigs I prefer to use are right here and as I said in the video you use different weights of jig heads depending on the water clarity and how fast the current is moving for you that day I like to use, like I said, mustad jig heads. This is a perfect inshore combination here. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it, but they have all different colors available to choose from. All of these colors work great. You know, I was using the 3 8 ounce up to one quarter, a quarter ounce uh, jig head today. But like I said, you just have to switch it up, change your jig head size depending on the bait you're using. For instance, I was using the shrimp, but that was perfect. But you can also go ahead and use soft plastics on your jig heads as well. And um, this is the ones that I like to use. Mustad has great jig heads and they're very strong. So check this out and I'll link it down in the description below. The main thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the shark setup. This is our standard combo for smaller sharks, especially when you're inshore fishing. Now we're using right here with the reel is a Cabo 80. Great setup. We've caught a ton of big fish on this reel paired with a star rod and this was pulled with 50 pound main line, 50 pound braid as the main line. Now to talk about the actual rig we were using. So there's one already on this reel, but I'm on this rod, but I'm going to go ahead and show you one that we already have pre-rigged over here. But it's pretty awesome setup. What we like to do for inshore sharks is use mono. We don't like to use wire. And the reason for that is because sharks are very sensitive to any types of wire. I think it sends them like electrical signals or just something funky. So they would rather not bite wire. They prefer to bite mono. This is 250 pound mono we're using as a leader. It's about, I would say four to five foot long. And starting with the very beginning here, we have a heavy duty mustad swivel that we crimped onto the 250 pound mono leader. And we have a little box here of crimps. Pretty awesome, you should keep this with you at all times for different sizes of mono. But once we crimp that on, like you said, we have four feet here, all the way down to the actual hook. And we have another heavy duty, we have another crimp attached to the mono leader. And we are using, depending on the size of your bait, Today we are using a 10 knot mustad circle hook, two times strong, and it's the demon perfect circle hook, which is much safer for the sharks and the fish. And like I said, you can use 8-0 up to 10-0 circle hooks depending on the size, but today we are using the 10 knot. 
That concludes this segment of Tackle Time. I hope that helps you guys out. Like always, we wanna provide you with the most tips and, tri tips and tricks that we possibly can. So if you guys have any questions about any of this tackle or anything I just talked about, go ahead and make sure you comment below. We'll definitely answer your question for you. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really wish we caught that shark today, but that's fishing. You never know what happens out there. So pretty crazy that we we're catching big fish on shark baits. But we'll be back with another adventure really soon. So until then, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification, and until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. Hold him, dunk his head first. Just to like flip it. So like, you can flip this giant fish.